Hi viewers, hope you're all doing great and staying safe. Today we have with us a guest who has made her presence felt in Bollywood, soap operas, as well as OTT platforms. From portraying the famous role of Gandhari in Mahabharat to making cookies as a passion, she is none other than Rhea Deepsi. Hi Ria, welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Hi everyone. Hi Prane. <laughs> Your name is Prane. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Pranay Prem and I'm from Mysa magazine and I'll be taking your interview today. Hi Pranay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Digitally. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. I want to know from your amazing performance in Mahabharata as Grandari. But tell us how a 17-year-old back then made a debut with such an important role in the television industry. Well, this is a story I've already told a lot of times, but I'll tell you personally. Uh, I think it was all destiny. I was meant to be there as Gandhari because um, I was chosen for another character. Uh, it was uh, it was Madhuri. I was chosen for Madhuri and I prepared for Madhuri. I did workshops for Madhuri and uh, suddenly one night I was called by the production house and the whole team was there and uh, they broke the news that I am playing Gandhari. And uh, rest is history. <laughs> the next day I went for my look test and the day after that I went for my shoot in Jaisalmer. Uh, we had a one day shoot. They had to do it, you know, to see the whole look and everything. Uh, I was very, very nervous, but thanks to the whole team, especially thanks to Siddharth sir and Rahul sir and Ritesh sir, they all made me so comfortable and they were all there to help me, to support me. So, yeah, that is how the journey started. And you have never looked back after that? <laughs> yes, I haven't looked back. <laughs> Good, take it. Okay. <laughs> Being given the responsibility to play the Metro and Blindfold Gandhari at the age of 70, how did you mold yourself and how did you play the character in accordance? Um, so when I got to know that I'm playing Gandhari, of course, I had a basic knowledge about Mahabharata, about my history, about our history. So uh, I did a little research. I read up online about Gandhari. And uh, I, I think I had three months to prepare. So I did sit with my director, with my creative director, with Siddharth sir, to understand their vision and then to match up my vision of Gandhari with their vision. And that is how we created the whole character. Uh, about the blindfold, um, so I, I tried, I tried blindfolding myself, you know, in my own house, and I was trying to see, you know, physically how I feel uh, when uh, when I am moving around and how do I touch things or, or how how do I feel, you know, कि कैसे अपना हाथ बढ़ाना है, कैसे चीजें समझनी है. So the best part about this was. I was not blind from the beginning, right? Uh, I used to see and everything. So the character, she develops this habit. So that was the best part. Ki, you know, mujhe actually, I genuinely feel karungi, mujhe wahi portray karna hai. Uh, I think Ditras did a great job because uh, he had to play a blind guy. But uh, I think I was lucky there. So yeah, I did practice a little at home. <laughs> and I will be honest, I said pe bahut baar light on set akra you know. Like I said, I'm not going But it's not going to be like we were wearing things like this. And sometimes it's light shade. So it's going to be like light shade set akra jati thi. Because it's not going to be. And it is very, um, it is too much of work, you know, bar bar utarna, bar bar pehenna. So sometimes if you have to go 10 steps here and there, then I would go to the fold in the blind fold. I didn't go to the blind fold. So that is how I used to perform. Okay, nice to hear that. Having completed your education with Bachelor of Arts in Filmmaking, have you given yourself the thought of working behind the camera in making a film in the future? Uh, well, I have, uh, I, I have written some contents. Uh, I do have some scripts of my own. Uh, I, I like to do, uh, I, I like to write short stories. I do have two or three 
in my book right now uh but i think i need to learn a lot more because while i was studying uh, the filmmaking i was also shooting so i think i really need some more uh, what do i say like i really need to work under somebody to understand better but i do have a basic knowledge and uh, hopefully very soon i'll come up with my own content so wait for it <laughs> so hoping to see the director tagline also under you <laughs> I'll show it someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Thank you. You are currently working on the web series Game of the Sexes. Can you give a small insight to your role and how it has been? Wonderful, wonderful journey. I think um, I have. I've never felt so excited after Mahabharat. So after Mahabharat, this is. so the one project i'm really really excited about and i can't wait for you all to watch it uh i cannot share much about my character because uh, i cannot even tell you the name but what all i can tell you is that uh, she has a journey of uh, she's a non cricketer and, and the, so the series is about mixed gender cricket league mm-hmm. men and women playing in one team uh, it's a very unique concept and uh, we, uh, we all are playing cricket <laughs> i'm also playing cricket so her journey is from uh, how she ends up in a cricket ground and how she becomes one of the best cricketers uh, i can tell you one thing she's a bowler okay <laughs> she is the best bowler in the team and i have worked, i have worked really really hard so i i really hope that you all will like my bowling <laughs> and um, we had a great great adventure there we were in moradabad for a month we were trained by bcci approved coach mr yash shukla uh, and we we were uh, practicing for 6 hours straight for 7 days i i practiced for 5 days because the the other 2 days i was shooting for my character and uh, yeah and we played a lot of cricket we got badly tanned really <laughs> tanned i'm still trying to remember my tan <laughs> and um, this character i uh, i'm really attached to this character because uh, she has so much emotions uh, she is somebody who speak less and speak more from her eyes from um, from her overall aura from her body language so i was really excited to play this and uh, it was kind of a challenge for me to you know to share her story through her whole whole self and not from just the dialogues so i was really interested and i think you all will love her i think you all will love her. yeah i hope you all love her we will definitely see the cricketer in you very soon then <laughs> yeah yes okay you have worked in television shows ott platforms and even you have made your bollywood debut out of the three mediums which do you enjoy the most um to be honest like this is not some uh, diplomatic answer but uh, i enjoy acting so no matter whichever pl- pl- platform i have worked for or i'll be working for i'm going to enjoy everything is because i uh, i love to play character i love to act so that is what i enjoy the most so based on that question sir like ott platforms have been gaining very much popularity in the past two years but with cinemas opening up very soon what do you think what is your take on ott platforms like will there be a decline will people like have a lower interest in watching it what is your take no i don't think so because uh, you know i can still watch a movie in a cinema hall and uh, i don't think i'll get a time la- time slot at 12 in the night so i'm going to go back home if i want to if i want to watch something else then ott it is ott is available for me and it is with me 24/7 so i don't think it is declining any time soon uh let's talk about social media you are a part of an era where social media plays a huge role in an actor or an actress's life so what is your take in social media how much how much is it be useful for you especially instagram uh well yes uh, definitely social media has become very important part of of our lives and especially when you are into this field when you are a blogger or when you are an actor uh, because this is a way to showcase uh, your work as well as to connect with your audience it is a two in one platform right now 
um I, sometimes i really don't like the fact that you judge an actor on on the base of their social media followers i feel really weird about it to be honest because um there are actors out there uh, maybe they 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 didn't get the platform that much and they don't have that much uh, fan following but they are great actors and they have the potential so i think an an actor specifically should be judged by their performance and not by the fact that uh, they have a bigger platform on social media or a lesser platform but to be honest i love social media and the reason is that recently i have started to uh, receive so many beautiful messages not only from the fans but from my friends as well who like my energy on instagram and who like my fun videos or posts and they feel happy and they feel motivated so i didn't know that uh, i am kind of impacting on somebody's life but i'm happy that because of me they are smiling or they are happy or they want to do it or they want to travel so that keeps me engaged and motivated and i really want to post more so that you know uh, my audience also enjoy and get entertained because of it and i believe that sometimes you know uh, when you're low and uh, you see somebody's happy post or, or somebody close to you is enjoying their life it makes you a little motivated and you know you want to do something about your life <laughs> so i think it's a good platform i i think specifically it's a good platform on a personal level so yeah so you have heard from sources that you are a master chef in the making is it true how <laughs> love cooking <laughs> um i i won't call myself a master chef but i'm trying to be one um so yeah i do love baking and i do like to experiment continental food i i don't really love pizza pasta thai and you know i want to i eat it i like it and then i'm like i want to try it at home so that is who i am and i'm still trying uh, i can say one thing i'm really good at making cookies so uh, and that is approved by a lot a lot a lot of people that is why i'm saying this with confidence that i'm good at cooking um but yeah it, it all started 3 uh, years ago i guess uh, i i think i was craving for cookies and it all started with cookies only the first thing which i baked and i i felt like i can make it and i can go ahead with this and then i can try more like cakes and brownies it all started with chocolate chip cookie i wanted to make it and i wanted to share it with my friends and families and when they enjoyed it so much i i really like to make people happy so they were so happy and it it they were really satisfied so i'm like okay this is something i can do you know so that is how it started <laughs> nice to hear that nice lastly maisa magazine's ambition is to provide a platform for underrated artists to showcase their talent so what advice would you give to, to the people who wanted to make it big on their platform never give up that is what i have learned recently uh it's not like that i haven't uh, struggled it's not like that i didn't face difficulties finding a good job sometimes the job is right in my hand uh, it's out there but i don't want it because i am aspiring for more i'm aspiring for better so yes you do feel demotivated and you do feel like i don't know if it's if it's for me or not there at that point you have to believe in yourself you have to be confident in yourself that you can do it and something out there is waiting for you if you're passionate about something if you really really love something then just don't give up that is all i can say because that is how i uh, ended up at game of the sexes to be honest so you know something is right out there which you wanted it's waiting for you it'll come to you so don't give up just keep on working hard working hard is the way yes that's very true <laughs> yeah i mean everybody said it's just such a cliche but it's not it's the truth it's it's not a cliche it's the truth well thank you ma'am for spending your valuable time with us for this interview and i hope we can do this again very soon very soon we will do it very soon and thank you so much for the invitation uh i was i'm sorry i know i i replied so late i was actually busy shooting and once i got back i'm like oh, yes. let's check what's there and for me and i was i was very happy for this digital magazine and i can't wait to watch more and uh, see more hiring and um, i hope that people out there they they just follow their passion and do something about it yes ma'am that's what maisa stands for definitely <laughs> Great, great. Nice talking to you. Thank you, ma'am, once again, and hope to see you again. Bye. See you. Bye. See. You.